It's Friday, y'all. Welcome to the Bubba Dub Show. Before I even start my show, y'all already know how I like to do it. I need y'all to get that like button. Yeah, I ain't doing nothing. Hit that share button. Yeah, get in the comments. We dropping five days a week over here. We rocking and rolling. If you can't watch me, you can listen to me on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Now, last night, NBA playoff game was nothing but fire. What you talking about, dude? Talking about the Dallas Mavericks in the Oakland City home? Oh, they was going heavy last night. Dallas won 119 to 110. Luka came through with 29 points. PJ Washington came through with 29. Kyrie, well, yeah. You had that many points. You had some assists, but you had about four, five turnovers. That ain't going to get it. Now, if I'm an Oakland City Thunder fan, I'm, I'm, I'm discouraged. Because both of you didn't turn the ball over but 10 times last night, and Kyrie didn't have a good game. Yeah, Shaw had 33. William had 20. But Shaq only had 11. But Luca had 29. Kyrie didn't have no more than four or six points last night. Four points last night. They ain't going to get it. Now, going back to Dallas, American Airlines, it's going to be rocking. Told y'all. It's 1-1. One, one. I got Madden going to seven. I could be wrong, but I think Dallas going to pull this series off in seven. Um, I just like watching these games, man. I like seeing Luca go a shot. That's what the best players in the NBA do. They go at one another. Ain't no friendship. I ain't your damn friend. Yeah, like my baby mama, we got kids, but I ain't your damn friend right now. That's what you do. You battle. Me against you one-on-one. -on -one. Damn it, who going to come out on top? Bad night, Luca. Even though Shaw had 33, 11-12 uh, said he looked real good, but if looking good ain't going to get the job done. Do you hear me? Looking good ain't going to get the job done. It's 1-1 one -one right now. They headed back to Dallas for game three. I can't wait to watch that game right there. But last night, game was nothing short of spectacular. Real talk. Now, P.J. Washington, I don't know if he's going to have 29 points like that again. But they were damn so needy last night. And he came through. That's what it takes to win championship. Now, I'm not saying Dallas Maverick going to win it all. But that kind of play last night will get the job done. Every time they needed a big play, P.J. Washington was down. Kyrie breaking the defense down and dishing it out. That's what you do when your offense ain't going for you. You still find a way to impact the game. That's what star players do. They impact the game. Ain't nobody on here who could thought Kyrie would have had 11 assists last night. Shot one falling. But how can I still contribute to the game? That's how I am. Even though I ain't with my baby mama no more, how can I still get on the good side? Send her $75 a week, and I do. Get me on. Some of y'all saying $75 ain't no money. It is when you ain't got it. I'm a fisherman. That's my job. I'm a fisherman. I'll go out and fish every day. Crappy, crawfish, flounder. Okay, ain't nothing down there in Galveston, but flounder. Come here. Jellyfish. Come here. You can't eat jellyfish. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Now, how OKC going to make adjustments, is it, it remains to be seen how they're going to make adjustments for game three. I mean, like, what can you really do better on? You really didn't turn the ball over. I mean, you know, you didn't make shots, but we know it's a sugar's league. You know, you make them or you miss them. So, uh, me personally, I really think Dallas Mavericks going to go back home and win the next two games in Dallas. Mark Cuban having the ball right now. He ain't been here. He ain't going to short tank no more. Hey, I'm just saying, Dallas Matt, Dirk Nowitzki going to be in the building? Michael Finley going to be there? You already know Jason Kidd, the coach? Man, it's like a whole reunion going on in Dallas right now. <laughs> Hollywood Baby going to be there. Yellow Bees going to be in them. Trap Boy Freddy going to be there in spirit. So he in jail. Prison to be exact. Free the homie. But I'm just saying, though, Dallas going to be rocking and rolling. Jerry Jones going to be in the building. Dak Prescott going to be in the building. Him and his brother. Yeah, the troublemaker. Yeah, I ain't forgot about it. Shit, prime time might even be the and junior. And junior. Shallow. So they might be in Dallas. Y'all know Dallas ain't got number stars up there. It's outside the real Tom Tom. Where you at? Might even go to Big T Plaza and get me some joy. Yeah, they might be fake, but you ain't gonna know that. Yeah, real talk. Dallas Mavericks. Done tied the series up, y'all, 1-1. One, one. Now, do y'all think either Dallas or OKC can beat Denver or the Minnesota Timberwolves in the next series? What y'all think about that? Do y'all think either one of these teams right here could beat Denver or the Timberwolves? I can tell you right now, some of y'all going to go here and say, hell no. 
Whoever win out of Denver in the Timberwolves going to win the NBA Finals. That's what y'all be saying. I be reading them damn comments. I be listening to what y'all be telling me. Now, y'all got on my ass though, yes, yesterday. Duh, you ain't got to tell us to like your shirt. We going to do it. Well, I ain't saying it no damn more. We going to hit 100000 this weekend on this one then. Because I ain't going to say it no more this damn show. We rocking and rolling over him. A lot going on. Shaq, uh, arguing over nothing. I don't like it. I'm going to get into it. More NBA playoffs coming up. We going to get into it. We going to definitely get into it today, y'all. We got a lot to talk about on this show. If you're just not tuning in, I just got through talking about the Dallas Mavericks defeating the Oakland City Thunder last night. 119, 110, Luka 29, PJ Washington 29, Kyrie trash last night besides the six. I know something. Man, he was trash. He gets the man, shut up. You think Kyrie want to have four points or let assist? Or you think Kyrie want to have 28 points and seven assists? Well, I know he's going to want to win more than anything, but Kyrie is a scorer. He got that Kobe mentality. Yeah, Black Mambo, come here. Damn right. Damn, one of the reasons why I ain't been to Africa. Why, Black Mambos? Them damn lying. They keep saying, duh, you need to go back to the motherland. Shit, the motherland, him? I shit, I wasn't born in Africa. I born right here in Texas. Shit, I ain't going down nowhere. Goddamn mosquito down there. Size of them New York rats. No, sir. I'm good right here where I'm at. Stay tuned. More NBA playoff talk on the way. You watching the Bubba Dove show. It's Friday. You're getting paid today. You're going to be broke tomorrow. That's okay. Long as your ass still alive, that's all that matters. I know some of y'all going to put the meat on the pit today. And let me say, y'all going out here buying that meat, y'all need to start reading them labels. That damn meat be spoiled. Y'all putting on them pigs. Wondering why you sick. You ain't got COVID. That's that damn meat y'all eating. Stay tuned. I got more on the way. I'm rocking and rolling today. Yeah, we back. I had to pay a few bills. Had to get on the phone with my baby mama. Let her know I ain't going to be there for Mother's Day. Like, you get my kid's mother. That's it. But moving on. Shaq and Unk. Yep, Shaq and Unk. I heard arguing over nothing. I don't like it. Shaq, you too damn sensitive to be that goddamn big fam. We know you the most biggest dominant uh, single ever, and you is. And you will, fam. You ain't got to bring up your damn accomplishment. We know you got four rings, three with Kobe, one with Flash. Damn it, we know this. You ain't got to explain a damn thing to nobody. We know who you is, Big Diesel, Big Aristotle, G4 classification. Damn it, we know that. But we ain't going to undermine Unc Evil. Unc a three-time champion. One of the greatest tight ends to ever play this game. I'm not going to sit here and let you two Negro go back and forth. I ain't going to do it. Everybody won't expose their truth except my baby mama. Who was in that damn house? Time I look around, my people going back and forth with one another. We ain't going to do that shit this year. We stopping that shit right now. We stopping it right now. Damn the truth. How about don't say a damn thing? I feel you go, Shaq. You had to come out and defend yourself. You feel like Unk was attacking. I get it, man. But to continue to go back and forth and say this and that, we ain't going to do that. We bigger than that. Y'all both millionaires. People look up to y'all. Y'all y'all role models. And I know we not perfect, but we ain't going to do this. Unk and Shaq, we ain't going to do this shit right here. I ain't going for it. Because I rock with both of you. I rock with both of you. Y'all the reason why I'm where I'm at today. Y'all inspiring me not this back and forth that's what kids do y'all let y'all let us do that shit y'all supposed to be on the golf course or something now we're playing golf or living it up or starting a new company together not this shit we ain't gonna do that at all y'all stay tuned man my nba playoff talk on the way i just want to get that off my chest for a minute I just really wanted to get, matter of fact, man, I got to tell y'all a story, man. Um, don't y'all judge me. Man, one of my side chicks died. And um, I decided to go to the funeral or whatnot. I get to the funeral. Her boyfriend, man, trying to fight me, telling them, her mama, he don't need to be here. Why he here? Doing all that roof and hollering. They come to me, telling me I got to leave. Hold on one goddamn minute. You know how much money I can set this whole case out? Huh? Let me pay my respect. I gotta go. I'll go, but I gotta get my to go plate before I go. She, I come to eat. I see what you talking about. Yeah, may her rest and shit, but let me give me two or three to go plate. I want some baked chicken. 
potato salad, pancake, light bread. Hey, I'm hungry too. I can sit here, listen to this damn pastor talk about how good woman she was, and I know he lying. Talking, talking about Keisha was a good woman. Stop it. I know you. The one y'all don't know. I know. I told him, fam, I ain't here for that. I ain't, I ain't here. You know, but that she gone. I'm going to miss that head, but I'm she gone. I just trying to pay my respect and give me something to eat to go. That's Am I wrong, y'all? Y'all let me know if I'm wrong for that, man. I had to go to my side chick friend room. I had to be there. She was there for me when I needed her. When my girl was into it. She was there rubbing my back and my bad feet. Boy, y'all see my feet, boy, y'all, boy, I'm telling you, boy, my feet terrible. I can walk through the streets of Africa right now with no shoes. That's how bad my feet is. Them stick of buds, they ain't going to hurt me. I won't even feel it. I'm telling you right now, y'all. Am I wrong for going to my side piece funeral, y'all? Let me know. Get in the comment section right now and say, dude, man, you ain't wrong, fam. You supposed to go pay your respect. You, you damn right. You damn right. We back. We're going to NBA playoff talk. Cleveland Cavaliers knocked the clam child out the Boston Celtics yesterday. Do you hear me? They came to play. Jonathan Mitchell came to play. LeVert came to play. Garland came to play. Now, I said Cleveland didn't have a chance. I said Donovan Mitchell had to score 50 to win. But I lied. He got some help yesterday. God damn it, I love it. I love to see the Cleveland corn beef cavalier come to Boston and take one. Now it's one one. Now you can't go back home, Cleveland, and lay down. Damn it, you can't tease me like that. I told that girl the other night, you can't start no fire if you can't hose me down. That's how I'm feeling about y'all corn beef cavalier right now. You can start in a fire. Can you go home and win one? Can you go home and win two? It's the big question. Now, do I think y'all can go home win the next two? Hell no. We talking about Boston? Tatum? Taylor Brown? Y'all don't have to play better than this shit. I'm expecting y'all to play a whole lot better than y'all played last night. That was ridiculous. Come on, dude, man. It's just one game. I don't give a damn what it is. You supposed to run through these corned beef cavalier, and you didn't. Now you giving that team confidence again. You giving the team confidence, making them wake up in the morning feeling good, traveling back home. That's one thing you don't want to do. And you give a team confidence. When you got a team, you play on a team like the Cavalier, you supposed to go ahead and run through on Boston. Now I know that NBA team, there's NBA players on both teams, and all that running through stuff is out the window. Yeah, that sounds good. But Boston supposed to be right back in the finals again this year, and I think they will make it. But y'all supposed to be running through Cleveland, man. Like, getting beat 118 to 94, that ain't going to cut it. Paul Perry rolling over in his grave right now. Paul Perry rolling over in his damn grave last night with that, with that, with that loss. Rig all back rolling over in his grave right now. Antoine Walker rolling over right now on the dice table right now in Chicago. That's what's going on. But let me get credit to the Cleveland Cavaliers. I'm not going to sit up here and just die on Boston like that because, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I got to give my credit to the Cleveland Cavaliers last night. They came out. They came out. They took a couple blows, and they kept on pushing. Yeah, don't even mention Camille. Yeah, pick and roll, break it down, get in the paint, flow, come in. Come in. LaVert off the bench, come in. Damn it, I get in the game. I got one job to do, and that's to get in here and God damn it, let's go. Damn it, that's what he did. Take advantage of your opportunity, players. Role players, six men. When you get in the game, playoff time, take advantage. That's how you get them big contracts. That's how you get the big contracts. I thought I thought Boston gonna win last night. Al Horford hit a three. That ancient dinosaur hit a three. I was like, shit, Boston gonna win, no sir. Shit, Donovan Mitchell said, no, he ain't. We ain't going to just lay down. I don't see Braun ain't got to be in no uniform for Cleveland to win. That's what I like to see. And they ain't even got Allen. Allen out. And for them to go into Boston under them kind of circumstances, under them kind of bright lights, 
and come out with a 114-98 victory. I got to give my I got to give them credit, y'all. I got to give them credit. What y'all think? What y'all think about game two? How y'all, how y'all feeling about this game? Were you shocked or you like, man, you knew Cleveland gonna get one, or did you think Cleveland gonna get one back at home, not in Boston? I ain't gonna lie, I was totally surprised by that victory last night. I thought Donovan Mitchell would have to have 50 something just to get a win, but they didn't. He got a team, got team effort last night, man, from, from the vert last night, uh, off the bench and Garland. So great game last night, Cleveland, corned beef, Cavaliers. Defeated the Boston Celtics last night by a great margin. By a great margin last night. Uh, but y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all, y'all think Boston going to go out and just win the uh, the next three games? Do y'all, oh, yeah, I know some of y'all going to get here and see that, man. You tripping, though. You know damn well Boston going to win the next three or is, or is Boston in six. I already know what you because I be looking in the comments. I be seeing what y'all be saying. Y'all be in there talking cash money. Shit. I know it. And I know y'all love that rat shit, too. But that's real. That New York rat shit is real, fam. Y'all seen 6 9 That's a real rat. With diamonds on his teeth, diamonds on his chain. Damn right. Last time I was in New York, <coughs> last time I was in New York, real talk, I saw a rat driving a Rolls Royce. Yeah. And then it stand for Rolls Royce. Stand for real rat. Come here. Real rat. Come here. Damn, Cleveland Cavs real pulled it off last night. I'm super excited about that. More NBA playoff talk coming up. No, we got to talk about them Nuggets in them Timberwolves. Yeah, we who Nuggets in the Timberwolves. We going to talk about it. I told y'all I wasn't going to say what I've been saying. I ain't got to say it no more. Y'all know what to do. You know what I want to say. Y'all know what I want to say, but I ain't going to say it. I'm thinking it. Because you know, duh, I'm thinking it. But, yeah, I'm here in Atlanta. This weekend, this one, man, I ain't in the studio. I'm in Atlanta. Yeah. Uptown Comedy Corner. I'm here all weekend, two show Friday, two show Saturday, one Sunday. Grab them tickets. I'm in these streets like a fire hydrant. Come here. More talk on the way. More NBA talk on the way. We rocking and rolling. It's Friday. Doom, 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 doom. Hey, and I'm going to party to the break of dawn. Get my groove on. I know it's Friday. Some of y'all going to go out there and get y'all, uh, get y'all some liquor. Yeah, I'm from the country, y'all, in case y'all don't know. I know what going on Friday when you get paid. You're going to pay a couple of bills. You ain't going to pay all of them. If your light bill is 100, you're going to put 60. I know. But I still do it now. Nick, Pacers tonight. Who you got? Who you got? Pacers down 2-0. They going back home. They back in Indiana now. Who y'all got winning tonight? I think the Indiana Pacers finally going to get them a game tonight. They, they really should be up 2-0. I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. They really should be up 2-0, but they ain't. Now, one thing about it, I feel like the Indiana Pacers going to win tonight because the rats can't travel. Yeah, them rats still in New York right now. They on the stoop right now. Um, spitting, spitting balls right now. That's what them New York rats doing right now. They spitting balls. Got their do-rag on, Timberland boots, big bubble coats. Um, having a ball right now, drinking a 40 out. See, the rats going to travel. But nevertheless, the New York Knickerbockers in Indiana tonight, I feel like Indiana going to finally win a game tonight. They going to tie the series up 2-1. Who you got? And my reason why I'm thinking Indiana going to win tonight, man, they at home. Um, they got their home crowd. It's something about that crowd, man. It gives the team energy. Uh, Tyrese Holliburton come off a good game the other night, 34 points. I feel like he going to follow it back up tonight. I think he have about 25 points tonight, about 15 assists. Uh, he going to be rocking and rolling, coming down court, full court, making them unbelievable passes. Them crowd going to get into it. Man, he's just going to be energized tonight. Peyton Manning going to be in the building tonight. Adrian James going to be there. Uh, you know, all uh, Marvin Harris is going to be there. Richard Wayne going to be there. Oh, he's going to be it's, it, The city going to be lit tonight. It's Friday night in the other. Now time, it's going to be lit. Hell, Mike Gibbs might be there tonight if he ain't got no show. Booger Sugar Mike Gibbs might be there tonight. Damn right, you know, you know, y'all know, uh, y'all know Mike love them, uh, love them Pacers. Yeah. Indiana 500, where you at? Where you at? Stand up tonight, Hollerburn. Miles Turner, yo, no dressing ass. Come on with it. McDonald, I'm going to let you come on with it tonight. I think, I think the Indiana Pacers are going to get a, a full team effort tonight playing the New York Knicks tonight because, damn it, they going to need it. Jalen Bronson ain't nothing but a uh, 
but a bigger Allen Iverson on steroids, if you ask me. He a beast. He a beast. And if Indiana ain't careful, he will come in and steal game three. Don't think he won't. He, will, he wasn't even play second quarter. Still had 25, 28 points. He ain't played the second quarter in the last game. What you going to do with him out four goddamn quarters is what I want to know. Josh Hart, we know what he going to give you. Number Hart. Going to give you 15, 16 rebounds every night playing 45, 48 minutes a night. I ain't never seen nothing like Josh Hart. Boy, what, what kind of battery pack you got? Is it in the job, buddy? What is it? I want to know. Is it all brand kind? Damn it, what is it? Because I need it. The way your battery pack working, I need it. Because I'm tired of taking 100 packs. I want to know what's energizing you. You don't see players like this play offense, play defense, up and down the court, look, um, running and diving after every loose ball. That's what I'm seeing from Josh Hart, y'all. If y'all like, man, you got to love players like Josh Hart. Remind me of Dennis Rodman, but with a little bit of offensive game. Everybody, every team would love to have a Josh Hart on their team. Damn it, Lakers, why y'all let him go? Y'all forgot we had him. Had Julius Randle. Had Brandon Ingram. Had bad knee lungs on ball. Damn it, y'all done dropped the ball somewhere between the line. Damn, dope that when they got Ingram there. Then they wouldn't got uh, they when they got AD. Shut up. I'm just saying. All the players that we've been having. But all that being said, I got the Indiana 500 Pacers winning tonight's game against the New York Knickerbockers. I say the Indiana Pacers win tonight by nine points tonight. I, I could be wrong, and I normally am. I always say that. But I got Indiana winning by nine tonight. Now, what are some of the things that New York can do to win this game? Uh, Keep the crowd out of it. You're going to have to keep the crowd out of this game. Real talk. You're going to have to keep the crowd out of this game. You're going to have to keep your turnovers down to a minimum. You cannot be turning the ball over. You cannot be turning the ball over against the Indiana Pacers while they're at home. They get to hit a couple threes. That crowd get to ruin. It get loud in them. And you might hear Blue 52, home, Oma, Oma. You, you hear Peyton and not him and Eli toasting bills together and Archie. You know them damn man and brothers everywhere. They got that paper. Shit, Peyton ain't just in Denver. He still got a home in Naptown, too. Him and Ursay. Ursay pulling up full of pills, allegedly. Shit. Gonna be a beautiful thing in Naptown tonight. Who you got? Indiana or New York? Get in the comment section. Let me know right now who you got winning tonight's game. I got Indiana winning by nine tonight. I got Indiana winning by nine tonight. I want y'all to get in the comment section and let me know. Fam, you was right. Call me fam. Don't call me dub no more. Call me fam. Because that's what we are. Y'all supporting me. I'm supporting y'all. We family now. Start inviting me to them barbecues. Just make sure y'all meet Caesar. I'm on the way. And I don't want no damn potato salad with raisin nigga either. No. I'm here to come in. Dub, you tripping, man. I mean, show my man. White people can cook. I know white people can cook. Have you seen Chick-fil-A? See, have you seen Chick-fil-A? See, I know white people can cook. Stay tuned. Mo NBA playoff talk on the way. Trash of the day coming up. You never know who I'm going to give it to. You just might not. Never know. But you got to watch this show. Giving away $300 a day, too. What? $300? Yeah, right before Mother's Day. I know some of y'all going through hard time. And you might want to be able to get your girl a gift. But you ain't got no money. Or you might want to get your mama a gift. And you ain't got no money. Well, you guess what? You might just be a lucky winner of $300. Just by you watching this show, I'm going to get in the comments, ask y'all a question. And if I ask you a question and you get it right, you getting $300 sent to your cash out. Do you hear me? Rick Ross, where you at, fam? Ricky Rose, where you at, fam? I know you're on that big, nice, luxurious jet. On one of them, okay, on the big white house out there in Atlanta. Where you at? Game calling you out, fam. Say you 12 lemon pepper wings away from having a heart attack. I know you ain't going to let that shit side, fam. Car show coming in. Well, it ain't where your car at. It's where your flow's at. Where your flow's at, Rick Ross? Don't you let game call you out like this. I like this battle. Some of y'all think Rick Ross can't get another with the game. You a damn lie. Rick Ross always had flow. I always had the right flower on that chicken. 
That's why we ain't stop doing them damn numbers. It's that flower Ricky Rose ain't putting on them. Uh, come here. Uh, that's Rick Ross we talking about. Now, Rick Ross, is you going to entertain Jocelyn Taylor? I don't know, but I think you should. You too busy out here talking about BBL Drizzy? Damn it, I need you to come back with the game. I want to see you get in the booth. I know you got flow. I know you got balls. I know Ross got ball right now. But I don't know. I feel like Ross might feel like if he go back and forth with the game, this could really turn into something else than what it really should turn into. Because I don't like that beef. I don't want to hear y'all getting on here talking about doing something to one another. Both of you millionaire. Stop it. Now, y'all camps might get into that, but it don't need to be all that. We grown men without him. We ain't shooting and killing one another. We ain't fighting. We just getting in the booth, talking about one another. That's it. After which, y'all can go, but we ain't stopping and eat something. Because I know Ross going to be hungry after he get through rapping. He going to be sipping on that bell out. That I love, by the way. Send your boss some bottles. Not a game the people saying. Not what I'm saying. The people saying you ain't been relevant. They say you they say you ain't been rolling the game. They say you out here clock chasing. I say you just out here just want to rap. You just want to battle. You just want to have some competition. And I'm all for competition as long as it don't spill over into other things. Because the minute you make the minute you mofos get out here, get to really doing something to one another, I'm calling the police on y'all asses. Yeah, I'm gonna point you out. Him, him, and him. And you right there, high, you come in too. Man, been calling you out for a week straight, Rick Ross. You act like you ain't heard that shit. You heard? You can't fool me. You heard? Get your ass in the booth. Just like Kendrick and K-Guy got in the booth, you need to get in the booth too, Ross. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Oh, y'all thought this just going to be an NBA show because it's playoff. Hell no. I talk about football too. Now, Michael Parsons, you my homie. You running around here doing all these damn interviews, doing this and that. Damn it, y'all better win this year, and you better have 23 sacks. Holding your ass to a high standard. I want Michael Parsons to have 23 sacks this year. I want Dak Prescott to have 45 touchdowns this year. Damn it, I've been praying and praying. Been on my knees more than a gardener praying. Do you hear me? Put a real cowboy fan stand up. Come here. Damn it. I know you in there. Come in. Come in. You a cowboy fan? Come in. We ain't going for that bullshit this year. We're going to start this year off right. Now, I'm the main one. And I'm the main one of this Super Bowl talk. I admit. I say cowboy trash all the time. When we come out, we in game one, Super Bowl. Letting you know right now, Super Bowl. Y'all don't want to see Cowboy win no Super Bowl. Y'all don't want to see that shit. For the streets of Dallas and all of them going to be rocking. Going to be shag, haircuts, gold teeth, every big teeth, plaza shirts and joy, every damn well. Sick of you, Cowboy Hager, 49 Hager. Sick of you 49er fans. Y'all got me spitting like an African cobra in this mother. This today. I'm upset. Dallas. Cowboy, we got we need to win this year, man. What that what that song say? It won't be very long. Hey, it's been long enough. What y'all think that gonna do this year, y'all? Y'all talk to me, man. Talk to me. I'm going to call one of y'all in a minute. I'm going to text one of y'all in a minute. I want y'all to tell me what them Dallas Cowboys going to do this year. My 49er fan, I want y'all to come in here and let me know what the 49ers going to do this year. And the rest of y'all, whoever y'all team, whether it's New England, the Buffalo Bills, Saints, I mean the Aints, y'all get in the comment section and let me know how y'all feel like y'all team going to do this year, man. You know how it is football season. We rock and roll. Yeah, we get the barbecue piss out. We got the jerseys on. We, we inviting friends and family over. We on them football board. Man, ain't nothing like football. See, I love basketball, man. But it ain't nothing like football season this year, man. Did your team draft the players that you thought they should draft? Did they address the needs y'all thought they needed to address? Get in the comment section. Let me know right now. Did your NFL team address the needs that you thought 
they should address this offseason. Let me know. Are some of y'all going to the training camps, going out there and watching your team? I'm going to be at training camps this year. I'm going to be at the Cowboy. I'm going to be at the 49ers, man. I'm going to be at the Texas training camp. I'm going to be there. But are you going to be there supporting your team? Let me know. Come on, dude. Man, you only can go to the Cowboy. You're a Cowboy fan. Shit, I'm a whoever paying. I ain't loyal. you. I ain't loyal to this damn team. I'm with whoever paying me. I'm on the way. And I know you heard, Unc, I'm going to be on nightcap soon. You damn right. Tune in. Come here. Me and Ocho, come here. Give up. Come here. Bring my trash talk over there. Come here. Y'all get in the comment section. Let me know, man. How y'all feel about y'all teams, man? Or can y'all wait? Or I know y'all been talking about can y'all wait to see me on nightcap. Make my appearance one of these days over there. I'm talking about I'm busy. I stay up late. Shit, come here. I'm on 100 past two. I need a good hour before they kick in. Come here. Let me work up a good workout before I go in now and put on. But I be putting on a show for about three minutes. Come here. Come here. Y'all know what time it is tonight. Timberwolves. And the chicken nugget. Them for chicken nugget. Who you got tonight? Guess what? They back in Minnesota. They up 2-0. They up 2-0. They back in middle shoulder. Will Denver still win tonight? I don't know. Jokic don't want MVP? Damn it, you better play like it tonight. Because if y'all lose tonight, Denver chicken nugget, it's over. Then you know that right now. Dante Culpepper rolling over and Earl Campbell links right now. Chris Carter rolling over in his grave right now. Hey. Hear me out. This a must win for Denver. I know some of y'all, man, dude, man, you sure will be happy when Denver lose. You damn right. They beat the Lakers. I ain't letting it go. But if but but can I see Denver coming out here tonight and win? I can see it. Denver is a championship team. I talk all the shit about all, all I want. But I know a great team when I see one. And Denver is a great team. Nevertheless, Denver Nuggets is a great team. Had they played like it the first two games? Hell no. But could they come out tonight and take her a business? Yes. Do I think so? I don't know. I'm optimistic about this game. I really don't know. It could go both ways. But what you don't want to do is let Ant-Man come in tonight, get by two or three dunks, get that crowd into it. It's going to be hell to pay in the target center of the night. You don't want to get that crowd into it. You don't want to get Ant-Man on the road. You don't want to get Reed on the road. They deep over there. They deep like my baby mama. Come here. Come here. Nah, real deep. They can go into their bench over there and really get the job done. Who you got tonight, y'all? You got Denver or you got Minnesota? I don't really know. I really ain't got to pick tonight. I just know it's going to be a great damn game, and I can't wait to watch. I can't wait to watch this game last night. Everybody been hitting me up. Dub, who you got? Man, who your pride pick? Man, give me time. Just in case y'all forgot. This show being presented by Prize Picks, y'all. Yep, use my promo. Go and download it. Prize Pick. Use my promo code CRAB. With the now, tonight, they might have Ant-Man going for about over 28 and a half points. All you got to do is pick more or less. For real? That's it? Win three out of five? Win three out of five, and you're going to win something. Win four out of five, you're going to win more than what you want out of three and five. Get all five right. You can win a big prize. Yeah. Uh, you spend $10 and win 1000 You can spend $20 and win 2000 For real? Absolutely. Now, let me get back to the subject at hand. Who you got? Denver. The champion. Or them young bull nuggets. I mean, all them young bull timber wolves. Then you know right now, Denver, if you come out on that bullshit, all that crying and shit, like you did game two, you're going to lose. You're going to be down 3 0. You're going to be down 3 0 to this young team. And there ain't no coming back from that. Because they'll run your ass out that gym. I'm letting you know right now, you better get your shit together. Or you'll be on vacation with my Lakers. As y'all say, you'll be on vacation with them. You be right there, devil skiing with Coach Prime and Shadar and Shiloh 
and Junior and the dog. That's where you're going to be. That's where you could very well be in the next couple of days on vacation. Jokic, mess around, lose the night. You won't be, all the yoga going to be up out your ass. Real talk. No, no, I don't have nothing against them with Nuggets at all. It's basketball at the end of the day. I'm a fan of basketball. What I would like for my Lakers to win against the Nuggets? Absolutely, I would love that shit. But they didn't. The better team won. I agree. I agree the better team won. But damn it, the Lakers ain't hurt. We tell y'all are. When you're down 2-0, you're back against the goddamn wall. What you going to do? Y'all going to start back drinking cool light or what? Because I'm down Rocky Mountains. They melted them first two damn games. Will they be ice cold again? Will that mountain be blue again? It's the question. Huh? It's the question. We all want to know. KCP diaper wearing that? What you at? Michael Gamlin Porter, how you talk to your brother? Why did you bet, bro? Hey, man. It's going to be a great game tonight. I can't wait to watch. I can't wait to watch. I know y'all going to be in the comment section talking shit at Denver win. Denver lose. I know y'all the Nuggets fans ain't going to be him. I'm going to be running and hiding. Y'all going to be running and hiding. Stay tuned, man. Trash of the day coming up. I know y'all wonder who I'm going to give it to. Could it be Shaq? Could it be Unk? It could be neither. It could be somebody else I could be giving this shit to. Drake and Kendra, y'all ain't responding no more. What's going on? What the hell y'all waiting on? I thought we had a rap battle him. What y'all waiting on taking breaks? This ain't no damn break. I need y'all to keep coming on with it. I need y'all to keep coming on with it. Stop bullshitting. Get back in the booth and make this shit exciting again. We always getting on these debates. Always talking about LeBron and Jordan. We ain't doing that shit today. Who you got in their prime? Who you got in their prime? Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. And Michael Jordan. They both the same player to me. I just want, I'm not going to even come. I just want to see what y'all going to get in the comment section and say today. Who you, because we never really talk about it. Who had the most skills? Who, who, even who was the, who, who was more hungrier? How about that? Who who are more clutch? Michael Jordan or Kobe Bean Bryant? Damn, who's the better player? Both of them great. Or I pick a Kobe. Black ass Michael Michael Jordan been winning on the court and off the court. I call him Black Profi. Y'all call him Black Jesus. I ain't got but one Jesus. He up there. Who was the most clutches? Kobe Bryant or Michael? Jeffrey Jordan. Get in the comment section. Let me know right now. I want to see this damn debate. Who the most clutches? That's what we got to start doing. Stop doing who the best and great. Who is the most clutches? Kobe or MJ? And who the best deep threat? Randy Moss or Deshaun Jackson? Get in the comment section and let me know right now. You love today's show like I love it. I ain't going to even say what to do because y'all told me y'all don't want to hear it. I ain't going to even say it. If you love today's show, then you know what to do. But I'm going to say this. Let's make this show number one. That's all I'm going to say. Let's make this uh, podcast number one. The Bubble Dub Show over here on the volume. We rocking and rolling five days a week. Once again, if you can't watch me and you ain't working, you go to and listen. Go to Apple Podcasts. Type in the Bubble Dub Show. Go to Spotify. Type in the Bubble Dub Show. But before I go, before I go, I'm going to call the text one of y'all. And you can come on here and trash whoever you want to trash or tell me something that I don't know. Giving everybody the opportunity to come on my show, man. I, I'm just, it's love over him. It's love. It go both ways. Stay tuned, man. I'm going to call the text one of y'all. Y'all hold on. We back on the Bubble Dub Show and we calling somebody right quick. Hey, this Bubba Dub, man. You on the Bubba Dub show. What's happening? What's up, dog? What's up? Hey, man. Uh, you know, let me know what's going on, man. I'm calling you back. Let me know. Talk to me. Man, I'm on my show right now, man. I'm calling you. Talk to me. Let me know something. Man, I know you want to know, but I know who really 
Mitchell Dope. What you mean you know who at my door, man? Who man, what you, you, didn't see him, fam? you seen it? I, I can't tell who was on there though, but you know you man, I'm on podcast right now, fam. I mean, what you mean, man? You who, who is it? Man, how, man, how you gonna have me call you on like you wanna be on my show and you wanna charge me? Come on, dog. Who was it, man? Man, what, I mean, what we talking about though? Like how much? Man, I done looked at it a hundred times, man. I can't Run that slow motion back. Bro. Run that slow motion back, man. Man, don't play with me, dog. This is my family, man. Don't do on the bro don't all I'm gonna What you want, man? What you gonna want, man? I need a cool Bro, I ain't got no million dollars, man. You crazy? I, I'm just not starting to get money, man. What the hell you tell me? I ain't got no million dollars yet, fam. You should have thought about that. You should have thought about that. Man, I'm gonna I'm, I'm hit you when I get off the show, man. Appreciate you calling in, man. All right, brother. Yeah, man. Y'all see that, man? I ain't, I ain't calling nobody here, man. Because y'all trying to bribe me, man. I ain't calling no... Man, say he really know who was on my tape. That's crazy, man. Trash sugar day going to my pastor. My pastor done fang, done painted his fingernails, y'all. Do you hear me? My pastor done fang, painted his fingernails purple. Tell my follow me never. I ain't against nobody and what they do, but I ain't never seen a pastor, a man of God, paint his fingernail. I ain't never seen nothing like this day in my life. Man, I'm finding me a new church. I'm gonna start back going to church in my living room again. The trash sucker that going to my pastor. Man, y'all let me y'all let me know how y'all feel. About if your pastor would paint his finger there. Let me know how y'all feel, y'all. I can't believe this, man. And you love today's show, man. Y'all know what to do, man. I really don't want to say it because y'all told me to stop saying it, but I'm gonna say it. Cause I'm finna get up out of here. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Get in the comment section. Let me know how y'all think about this show. Things we can improve on. If you want to come on this show, let me know. I will make it happen. It's Friday. Once again, I'm in ATL. I'm here. And now I'm coming to the corner. Up to, I'm here all weekend. Y'all come see me. I'll see y'all as Monday. Peace.